Okay, well, time to put my money where my mouth is. It was on stream the other day. We were talking about this, and we we were saying, by we, I say me and uh, Cho Fly Mobile. Uh, we were on his appreciation stream the other day, and uh, I asked him if they offer one of these, what would you think? If they offer the six-piece legendary divine speed set for the 20 bucks or 18.99, whatever it be, and he said he would buy them out. I quickly agreed. So... Now I got to kind of put my money where my mouth is. I'm going to buy them out today. And we are going to see how vastly improved my speed gear is, or if I get completely 100% boned. And the only thing I really get out of this is some energy for the upcoming event. Upcoming event, what am I talking about? That's here. You can click on the event tabs and find this. There's a champion training event coming. And it looks like the reward is going to be Void Shard, a legendary book and a new character. This new character is going to have the new Vel mechanic into the game. That's been 100% confirmed. So if you are interested in this character, time to prepare yourself for some champion training. Maybe save the energy. But speaking of energy, I'm going to get a little bit of energy from these packs. And that's where it's going to go here in eight hours. And once I get the character, I'll do a review of the character and let you guys know how good the character is for the people that may want to get the hands on them. I'll also be doing some arena assault after we purchase the gear, so that way we can see how vastly improved the arena team is, if it's improved at all. Hopefully we get a couple good rows. Really the person that I am utmost concerned with increasing the speed on is going to be my Lissandra. I'm going to fully max this character out in the next couple days, and I would like to increase her speed. Currently she's at plus 123 speed. If we can get her closer to the 150 mark, that's kind of where I'd like to have her. I'd also like to see, if possible, an overall improvement of the total speed of my clan boss characters. I have 91 on Nethro, 70 on Scarhide. My Tyrell has 110, and I believe my Steel Skull has, there it is, 88. If possible, I'd like to see these numbers bumped up all the way to a minimum of plus 100 on all of them, but we'll see how lucky we get. So I'm just seeing here, me and Kyrmo were prepping the record, opening the Divine Speed Pack here, and I pulled the Dwarf. Just from the hey, free, the him. free shard. This is the one I've been wanting to do for the Ironclad. So uh, we got him, boys. Uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty badass. Master oh, Butcher now acquired. We can, we can do something. Do some meme mm -hmm. teams. Okay, so I'm here with Kyra Mobile. We are going to open some packs and buy. We, I mean me. Uh, unfortunately, oh, yeah, he's not uh, spending any of the money on this. This is um, this is all coming out of my yeah, wallet, no, though. Is, he's, he's balling out right here. So here we go. We're going to buy so. the five Divine Speed sets. And give me a guess, Kyre, what do you think? How, how how much luck okay. are you feeling? Well, I, I'm feeling I'm feeling a lot of... Your your one time is, is going to come. Okay. Uh, this all this right. time. All right, so yeah, here we go. One time's coming this time. I'm going to buy all these out, and we'll be right back. Okay, so we leveled up the best pieces of gear that we got from the pack. So we've purchased the pack, identified the good ones, leveled the good ones, and here's what we ended up with. We're going to start with this one. This one's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Accuracy. Yeah, this one's no, one absolutely nuts, dude. <laughs> Attack percent is yeah. crazy. There's no bad stats on this one. Road speed three times, so we got 18 speed. That's the winner for the day and then the second one we got here again not bad we got attack percentage yeah. crit damage percentage Jeez. speed twice so the weapon pretty good so we got two good weapons there uh and then the first good helmet we got check this one out here 13 speed uh, one attack one crit rate not too yeah, bad that like pretty pretty much like big winner for those pieces of gear. all those are fantastic pieces all it's, pretty it's so good, good. Um, unfortunately, yeah. the other helmets didn't really end up being particularly great. So we got really one helmet and two weapons so far. Now out of the shields, the shields rolled amazing, but then when we went to actually upgrade them, they didn't get the right stats. So we got speed, defense, and crit damage. So it's kind of spread out. This one could have been good. Maybe it'll roll speed yeah. again. Definitely. These were these were kind of a feels bad because they were just so good on paper before the upgrades, and then you just didn't get the RNG. Uh, but, that's oh well. correct. That's basically what happened. Because if you look here, we get crit rate again and accuracy. We miss speed again. I'm really, really. I, I like that one. Well, I like that one. That would be like a royal guard one for for me. This like, one's a good I'd damage dealing for sure for somebody. Yeah, that damage needs dealing. It. Well, characters that like really need that that like hundred percent crit rate. Um, this one's fantastic. And so might even go on Ray like, to be like, honest. Like, like there's a few people like that Ray, will probably use this one. Cold heart, uh, royal guard, and stuff like that. So that, that. It's going to have use. Uh, this mm -hmm. one here, <laughs> uh, it, it, I really wanted the speed on this one. It rode HP and then resistance, so I'm probably going to roll it again, see how it goes. Might have more silver, but so far, not so great. Uh, 
And then if you look here, we have HP percentage, defense percentage, crit rate. We haven't rolled this one because this one's really, I'm kind of waiting for a character that's going to need this one. It's really just tanky with crit rate. Uh, who do you think? Maybe Vrask would like this one? Uh, I think it depends on our rolls. If it rolls like one stat, like if it rolls crit rate like a lot, then yeah, it'd be really good on Vrask. It'd be, I'm trying, trying to think. Yeah, like that tanky guy, but also weirdly needs crit rate. Like, there's a couple the of them out there guy. <laughs> and um, of course it rose the flat hp oh come on okay get, get, uh, get it out of the screen yeah, yeah. Move it yeah. <laughs> and then uh here we got this one once again kind of a defensive one but with crit damage instead of crit rate but kind of the flip-flop and characters that are like you know have these one big move things where it's like uh, that are based on like hp max hp stuff like that I really like the the tankiness with the the damage so they, there's definitely a lot of characters out there like that. This could have been one of those tanky pieces. Unfortunately, I rode defense three times, and I really, really, really needed gloves because gloves are the thing that are currently my bottleneck for speed. So I will roll it again just to try to get 10 speed on it. But yeah, this one was a punch to the gut. And honestly, yeah, the the gloves in particular. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, the gloves didn't, you know, and we can't even really talk about the boots because the boots were, were like that as well. So yeah, the gloves were a big L for you, but the weapons were like a big W. Those weapons like you know really make up for it. So weapons were pretty good. The chest plates we rolled a good number of speed secondaries, but we didn't end up rolling actually the speed too much. Maybe we'll get speed one more time. Nine's acceptable. I, I can probably find a use for it. In yeah, team. Well, nine, I feel like nine's acceptable only when you have when it's within a speed set. Like I'm looking exactly. for fifteen, fifteen on anything that's not a speed set, but nine still is passable. So here, uh, once again, could have been uh, kind of a speed one there with HP percentage. I would have liked this one, but it three times here rolled away from speed. So that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, that's probably going to find its way onto somebody, though, sometime just because of the HP primary with speed set. I'll take it. Then we got an accuracy chest plate here. Uh, I actually don't mind this one because it's high accuracy with a chest plate and very, very tanky for not having a kind of a defensive or HP primary. Yeah, uh, I think it's just really beneficial with the set bonus for this guy. Um, I think this one's really good. Uh, accuracy chest is like, I feel like it kind of gets slept on. It's useful. It's like kind of a really convenient way to, oh, like, like because like in a later game, uh, you get really bottlenecked by accuracy, I feel like. And so I'll just slap on one of these guys and then I can actually do the, the thing I'm trying to do. Whereas if you don't even have the enough accuracy, you just can't. Uh, you know, uh, actually use it on like it? Tomb Lord might yeah, actually use this because I like yeah. I like accuracy with uh, with some tanky stats on him and allows me to get the poison. So yeah, this is definitely mm -hmm. going to be usable. I agree on the accuracy chest. This one maybe I have another chance. It rode the flat, so I just stopped rolling it to go roll some other stuff with my silver. Yeah, if it double flatted on you, it's you know maybe when you when you're uh, back to like balling out on silver, maybe throw it to twelve to see what happens. But maybe we'll um, get yeah, speed one more on time. That. But yeah, this one now was kind of painful. Yeah, now we're selling, but now we're upgrading for quite a while. This one's almost worth selling. Flat HP, which is some random stuff. I might roll it eventually yeah, just to see if I can get a ton of accuracy. But even then, it would need like it would need almost none of that. Except it would need accuracy. That's the only thing because even if you hit a ton of crit rate. Do you really want it? <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. I'm not. So the chest plate's not so great. The boots were almost not even worth mentioning. We got 113 speed boot, but it's a boot. You want a boot primary with speed. And we got attack percentage, so that ended up being not so hot. Then check out this HP one with flat attack. Then roll the speed there. Then it'd be so hot. These other ones are just just flat attack garbage, flat defense Yeah, not even garbage. worth rolling. Yeah, not it might, worth. might as well. Yeah. So, so all well, in all, uh, what do you think, what, though? What, Okay, so like I'm looking looking at these, I look at all the gear. I'm like, wow, like you got a lot of good pieces of gear. Um, still, like I wish the ones that these type of chests like or these type of packs are hard for me to, to like really go in on because of the the multiple levels of RNG Completely associated agree. with them. Yeah, if if they were like, hey, um, if they told us the primaries on the bottom row, I'd be so much more down to invest in them because because you, you're still getting another level of RNG afterwards, but. In your situation, uh, divine C uh, divine speed is probably the, the best or one of the best sets you can get in the game. 
You this got a would lot be of speed on those. One of the only sets I purchase that uh, is without gems within the pack, where it's eighteen ninety nine, yeah. no gems, and all it comes with is this energy that I'm going to be using in the event. Oh, there's some silver. I actually did have some hiding in here. Oh, um, hey, there I'll use the energy in the champion training event that's coming up. Uh, but other than that, no gems. So uh, I think for me personally, looking back upon the gear now that I've done it, uh, I'm not mad, but I don't think I really probably. I don't think I ended up rolling a hundred dollars worth in my opinion it probably would have been better to get the shard pack instead um and i don't i i don't i'm not mad though is where i'm going with this like i i don't think it's worth the hundred dollars i spent but i think i could have got boned way worse i don't i don't think there's much of a world we live in where the hundred dollars is ever really worth the pack but if you are going to gamble i got one two three um potentially up to six really high good pieces of gear uh, other than that, the other ones are kind of like usable for filler gear on people that are on B teams, maybe. Yeah, well, think about how long it would take to get this much legendary divine speed yeah, gear. Yeah, that's doing a good point. Game. I mean, what clan boss is one of the only ways you can get it, right? Yeah, this would this would take like what a year, a year's worth yeah, of playing. Yeah, not more. <laughs> I mean, a year with you know, good RNG, probably. Yeah, with good, you're with good RNG, and you're consistently um, getting the max chest and whatever clan boss you're you're doing. So that's a good uh, point. We'll, I like that. Well, point. also, but uh, but yeah, but then there's also uh, arena too, arena chest. Arena. So every week you have a chance to. So True. you know, it, you could you could do it, um, but it would take quite a while. So, so it's pretty cool. let me know in the comments down below, guys, if you thought this pack uh, was worth it. I want to thank Kyra Mobile for coming on, keeping me company during it. Kyra Mobile, you got any uh, last words for you? Uh, no, just uh, thanks for having me on. This was a lot of fun. Uh, just going through yeah, the gear, uh, a lot of high, a lot of highs and lows with uh, your roles there. So that was pretty cool watching those happen. So and I, I just hope everyone has a good time and have a good rest. Well, of the we day. had a good time doing it. I hope you guys have a good time. Uh, so we're gonna say goodbye to Car Mobile now as we go through the rest of the video. And I'll put the description in the description. I'll put a link to his channel. Bang bang bang. He's a good real life friend. Go give him a follow. Okay. The original goal was to give Lissandra to 150 speed. We got to 146. Uh, we got 18 speed on the weapon, 13 on the helmet. On the chest piece, you're going to see here that we also have 10 speed, but HP percentage and defense percentage and accuracy, which is extremely important for Lissandra in the arena. The shield is nine. We got 45 speed, six star boots. And then these gloves I dug up, which were really nice, rode 15 speed on that, even though they're crit rate, which I would have preferred some tankier gloves for her. Uh, and maybe it rode accuracy instead of crit damage on the next row, but still. So we got plus 146. Now I do actually have a band that's going to help us out with this as well if you look uh where is it right here we got 10 more speed coming underneath my head here bang we got 10 more speed coming on that banner that's going to put us at 156 and then if this speed we can get this to 16 once i have more silver and at that point it could row again and we could actually get over 160 speed so 146 for now with the potential of being 160 is pretty good Okay, so now i'm just going to go down the list and start fighting people and see how much the arena team has improved um I have a pretty good idea of how they were before because I've been doing a lot of arena due to the arena assault. So I'm going to go ahead and compare it uh, previously to what it seems like now. And I'll give you my opinion here after about 10 battles or so. Okay, I've been doing a lot of battles. Uh, this is my last arena token. And compared to what it previously was, there's two things I'm noticing. One, I'm always going first. Two is what just happened right there, is that Lissandra, with her higher accuracy now with the better gear, she is continually landing that decreased turn meter all the way across the board, which is guaranteeing my whole team goes first. Before, sometimes with Sandra would go, Seeker would go, and then someone on, on their team would go, and it would kind of mess it up. But uh, the team's not failing at all now, and it, it's just chewing through these ladders. So yeah, I, I think big improvement from what I've noticed. Okay, so big success for the arena team, I believe. Now, when it comes to the clan boss people, uh, unfortunately, we didn't pull any good speed secondaries for them that can replace the stuff that we see here you know we still need the tanky primaries and whatnot there so i don't have any big upgrades uh, unfortunately for those the biggest upgrade we got was for lissandra and i'm moving all lissandra's other gear over the seekers so now seeker is going to be faster too so it's kind of trickle down economics with the gearing situation now if this video at all uh was helpful for you or if it was interesting hit the like button subscribe if you want to see more of it uh, i do appreciate it very much guys i've been getting lots of good comments and all that let me know what you want to see next. I love y'all, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.